Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney, and this is another episode of How to Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, comics, books, and video games. If this is your first time here and you want to see more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to press that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon to get notified anytime that I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need for this tutorial. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. If you still find that this video is going way too fast, you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right to slow it down. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. All right, you guys, so for this Jack Sparrow tutorial, I've got my paper in portrait mode this time around. And what we're going to do is we're going to be only drawing up to the shoulders. And the reason for that is that there is quite a bit of detail in the hair and um, the trinkets and like the dreadlocks and the eyeshadow and all that stuff. So there's some detail there. And yeah, any, any more than that. And I fear that this video is gonna get pretty long. So we're only going to be doing that part. Let's get started by drawing a circle about this big. closer to the top than it is at the bottom. And of course, from that circle, we're gonna draw the sides of the face and draw a line and the chin. Make sure you have lots of room because he does have pretty thick hair even here at the top, okay? From there, I'm going to roughly draw where I want the eye line to go. And it's right here. And then I'm gonna draw the middle line Going down. Here's the nose. It's kind of where I want the nose to be. And then here's the mouth right there. Okay. And I guess we could get started by kind of drawing where we want the eyes to go. Right there. And if we zoom in, I'm going to erase this bottom of the circle here. And we're going to make that nose a little pointier. And like I say, whenever we do these uh, these tutorials of movie characters, is we're trying to draw the character and not the actor. So it looks, if your drawing looks nothing like the actor, um, that is that is fine. I shouldn't worry about it too much. So there's the nose right there. Like right now, it looks nothing like Johnny Depp, but that doesn't matter because we are trying to draw Jack Sparrow instead. Okay. So here, I'm going to draw the lip a little bit more. I'm going to draw the upper lip and the lower lip just as a line like that. The upper lip sort of makes this triangular shape. It is going to be covered by a uh, mustache later on. Okay. Little, some wrinkles right there. And we'll worry about the rest later on. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna figure out the bandana. Here it is, sort of goes across like this. And it goes past the sides of his head because he does have pretty thick hair. Okay. So let's start by figuring out how far the hair comes out of the head or how far it is on this side and over here it's about this much out so it's going to draw a guideline that's what it looks like and then continue the bandana going all the way over there and then the top of the bandana you kind of want it to go to the top of the head here and it curves like this Okay, once I have that, I could probably erase this because I don't really need it anymore. I'm going to add a little bit more hair up at the top. And then I'm going to bring it down like this and like this. Here's that bandana. Okay, so this part of the head is thicker than this part. And that's because there's a lot more hair coming out on this side. So what we're going to do is... You see how we've got this line right here? I'm going to draw a line coming down this way. And this, this right here actually becomes, now I forgot to mention, by the way, to do it lightly and do it wavy and not just a straight line. This, there's actually a ponytail that comes out to the right side of Jack Sparrow's head. And that's what we're going to draw going over the bandana. So let's start right here right around a little right of the center. And we're gonna bring 
we're gonna we're gonna find a spot right here and draw a line like this and this spot right here is gonna be kind of where the ponytail goes so think of his hair getting all bunching up to that little spot right there okay now here we're uh, he does have a bone that is woven into his hair um, and to be honest with you I don't know the history of the bone because I haven't really here's my confession I haven't really seen uh, the last couple of Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I think I caught one on the plane, uh, the last one. Uh, but uh, the rest I haven't, I haven't seen. I've seen the first one, and that's it. Okay, so here is two diagonal lines going this way. I'm going to close it off right here. And this is going to be the bone. I'm not going to draw the end yet. The bone that is woven into his hair. Okay, and then the ponytail sort of comes out this way, and then goes, kind of goes this way. Okay. So now let's continue and over here we're going to draw a line going down to about there and here imagine a tuft of hair that's kind of going out like that and yeah we'll leave it like that for now let's draw another line that sort of goes this way and then right here imagine imagine the rest of the hair kind of coming out this way and sort of spreading open so it looks like that and it's a little messy but all we got to do is put in the the details of each individual strand of hair and then it should start looking right because right now it just looks like a dude with long long hair okay now let's uh he's got a mustache so we can form that and it sort of goes this way and then it sort of comes down right here now don't make it too thick because he doesn't have a full bushy mustache. And I'm trying my hardest not to make it thick either. It's going to be a bit of a issue. And his mustache is really, it's not, it's not straightened or anything. It's curly. Okay. He's got a little soul patch, which is a, some hair under the chin. And he does have a beard and I'm going to bring this a little bit lower. Beard sort of comes up right here. It sort of comes up and meets this little spot, but not quite. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm bringing it down somewhat, like the chin. Okay, I do the same thing over here. Sort of comes up right there, but not much. Okay, right here, his chin does, uh, the beard does come out into these braids like that. And then just try to do each individual hair. And that's probably what's going to take forever when you start drawing Jack. Okay, now you notice that he's got a bit of a chubby, chubby cheek. So we got to draw. We have to draw some, uh, some cheek lines. Okay, there you go. So just draw some cheek lines to give him that uh, skinny Johnny Depp look. Okay. And before we do the, uh, before we do the head, let's uh, continue with the rest of the body. And let's imagine that we see the neck. We see a little bit of the neck coming down over here and imagine it coming down this way. Now over here is the shoulder and it sort of goes this way and just goes across. Okay. And on this side, it sort of comes down a little bit more. So think of him as a, making some sort of model pose. So it goes down actually quite a bit compared to the other, other side. And we're just going to bring it down like that. And right around here, kind of where the hair meets here, we're going to just have that go down. It's part of his vest. Now he's got, now we're going to go over here. He's got a, a strap that sort of goes across going this way and this way. We won't get into too much detail on the costume, just the basics. Now over here, he's got a collar that sort of tucks into his, it tucks into this strap here. So we're going to draw it like that. And then from here, it just goes, tucks underneath. So that's a collar right there. And then his shirt sort of comes out over here again. And then over here, we're just going to draw the the shirt going this way and then the vest right here 
going to bring it out like this. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So this is pretty much the gist of our Jack Sparrow drawing. This is as much as we're going to be drawing. Okay, so let's let's now start to, you know, break down the hair into the individual um, pieces that they are. And let's start with, there's going to be one long braid from here going down to here. Okay, so let's draw that braid. I'm erasing things and then redrawing them a little bit later just to make things more clear. So here's that one long braid. And let me zoom in. Okay, and for the braids, if you guys can see it, this is just a simplified version of it. I'm just going to create some wavy lines, or not wavy, sorry, just some rounded lines that go all the way down to the bottom. And once you reach the bottom, here's what you do. Create a knot. Imagine just a rubber band just tied around several times. And then just think of a paintbrush, the tip of a paintbrush right there. Okay. So there's that. Now we're going to draw some trinkets and he's got a, a row of trinkets that sort of goes down to about here. Okay. So I drew the center of that, the, the, the line of trinkets, and I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to work my way up. Yeah. So it goes from here up to there. And I'm going to start right here with a circle at the bottom. And at the bottom of that circle, I'm going to draw three rectangles and then a row, three lines like this. Okay. And those three lines, we're just going to draw some more circles kind of coming down like that. So I drew four circles each. Okay. And a rectangle at the top of that trinket. And then I'm going to draw a bead and I'm going to draw a bead that's rounded like that. And I'm going to draw another bead, which is just a circle. And here you can get creative and just use your instincts. Um, I know that I don't think that the, the shape of the beads really matter in the movies, but uh, just try to have them um, just randomly shaped. So here's one that's kind of a diamond shape right there. And then a couple of flat beads, one about this, and then one, one a little bit bigger than that. Okay. Tiny one again, maybe another tiny one right here and then another oval bead and then a flatter or a more squarish looking bead right there. And then a tiny bead, but around an oval one. Okay, and then you keep going until it tucks into this hair right here. There you go, and it just goes underneath that hair. I think all that really matters is the bottom just comes out. It, this is kind of what it looks like in the movie. Okay, now the dreadlocks. Uh, let's start with one main dreadlock coming down. With the dreadlocks, just draw them as these long, like noodle shaped things. And this one kind of just goes off. It's pretty long, but just end it off like that, I guess. Best way to do it. Okay. And then you just start creating these layers of dreadlocks. So I'm going to draw another, uh, another lock of hair going from here, going to there. And then you just build it up different, like varying lengths and everything. So there's a third one. And here again, you use your instincts. I'm going to have this one go to the back. So it goes behind the shoulder. And then right here, let's do a couple more. Let's have one coming out this way. And then a couple more ins underneath it. And like I said, just build it up until you get um, like this layer of dreadlocked hair. And once you got that, 
Let's give it a little bit of texture by taking your pencil and I'll do it over here. Just draw a curved line going across the dreadlock in very, very thin intervals. And just keep doing that for all of them. And that's going to be a little bit tedious because we do have quite a bit and that's just on this side. There's more on this side, but um, do as best as you can. And for me, I'm going to skip this part and I'm going to just do it on the inking stage. But uh, if you're not going to ink, then it's best if you take some time now and put some, put some texture on those dreadlocks like that. Now you do it several times, even the ones in, that are underneath that are tucked underneath. Okay. Until you have a whole bunch of dreads that look like that. Okay. So that's a, uh, that's this side. You know what, before we continue, let's actually start working on um, his mascara, I guess. So let's go back over here and let's figure out the eyes. So let's uh, find the proper placement for the eyes first. You don't want them too far apart from each other. And a curve, just a very slight curve like that, both sides. Make sure that they're mirror image as much as you can. Okay, this goes down, angles up, down, angles up. Okay, I'm gonna create a fold right there and right there. And then I'm going to draw the pupil. A half circle with another circle inside. There you go. It's kind of the effect that we want. And then find this here at the bottom. And it's not meant to be that. What we're going to do is we're going to shade that in because he does have some eyeshadow. So we're going to shave or shade, not shave underneath his eyes. And we're going to make the outline of his eyes a little bit thicker just to indicate that he's wearing some eyeshadow. And then just pile it on as thick as you can. And there you go. Now adjust the bandana and make sure that it goes just above his eyes, like you don't see his eyebrows at all. Some folds on the side, so let's draw some folds. Same thing here, just coming out this way. Okay. He's got an X right here, and he's got a bit of a red, red spot uh, right here. So I'm just going to draw it, kind of a little shade of red. Okay. Now he's got more trinkets coming down this side. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a line like this and we're going to start off with, I guess we'll start off with the one that looks like a bone like that and with some string going around it in the center. Okay. And then a circle and then another bone, like a dog bone with more stuff going around it there and then a bead, and then I'm just gonna end it with a circle. There you go. So there's that. And then let's just draw his hair. His hair sort of, his hair here goes into that ponytail and then comes out on this side, but the rest of it goes up this way and then goes out this way as well. Very, very scraggly and messy. Imagine not having showered for a long time and sleeping sleeping wherever, sometimes in a jail, sometimes in on a ship. And there you go. Okay, he's got some hair coming out over here, of course, and it comes out like this. Like that. And then let's zoom out and let's focus on let's focus on this part now. And we're going to start off like we did over here, we're going to start off with this um, braided hair. Okay, and we already kind of drew the first part of it, it goes down like that. Okay, let's draw the other side of it right here, going down to there. Okay, and then the, the braid, just a simple one, diagonal lines going across like that. Okay, now short dread kind of goes up to there. And then from here, it makes like a string. And then at the bottom of that is a feather and a feather, just two 
two lines going out, down, and goes in again like this. And then I'm going to draw a line in the middle. And then just diagonal lines going across this way and this way. And that is how you draw a feather. Okay. So let's continue. He's got more dreadlocks coming in uh, behind behind this one. So I'm just going to draw that going down. I'm going to bring it down pretty low. It goes down to here. I'm going to bring it back up. Like that. So it tucks in right behind. And then over here, let's, uh, let's draw this hair first. So we want this hair to go down. And it's kind of curly and it gets blonde. Uh, and it sort of just goes down to there. So I'm just going to make some random waves of hair going down this direction. And it comes up, it starts off over here and it comes down this way. And it goes behind, it goes behind this bone here. So like I said, it starts over here and just sort of makes its way down. It gets thicker and then eventually starts to narrow down. So it's just very random waves so you guys can see. And then right here, you see, you still see a little bit of straightness. I'm going to draw some braids or dreads going down this way. Some more dreadlocks going down. So they go down that way. Let's draw some of the hair going over the bone this way. Okay. And then right here, we're going to end the bone right there with just a curve. Okay, so now, okay, here's the braids. It goes behind the shoulder. Excuse me. Now we're going to draw some hair going at the back. And that's it. And like we did over on the other side, we're going to draw the braids this way with lines going across like that. Okay, let's uh, not forget the braids uh, for the beard. And over here, we're just going to draw it like this. And then as you finish it, We'll draw one bead, one circle bead, one square bead, and then like a paintbrush. Same thing over here. And then a paintbrush like that. Okay. Let's draw a little bit of the, the neck kind of goes down like that. And then here's his collarbone sort of goes like this. So let's fix the neck. Let's draw the collar. Collarbone sort of goes like that. And just a little bit of the Adam's apple of the neck. And that's it. All right. And there's tons more details to his costume, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, right here, just the vest goes like this. And then shirt wrinkles kind of go like that from the armpit up. Okay. Right here, I'll just leave it like this. I'm going to double up on this line. For the most part, I'm going to keep that, keep that the way it is. Here's the vest. Here's some more wrinkles from the armpit on his shirt. Make his shirt a little bit rugged looking. And there you go. So we'll just continue. Um, let me just add a couple more dreads here in the back. Right here, maybe going to there. Like I said, this is the part where you use your artistic uh, instincts to figure out what else is missing. So there you go. A couple more dreadlocks here in the back. And that's it. So once you have that, that is Captain Jack Sparrow from the Pirates of the Caribbean. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this tutorial video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to Instagram and tag me with your pictures so that I can see them or head on over to Google Plus and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. And if you feel like being extra generous, I have links below for different ways that you can support this channel. First is my Patreon at patreon.com slash draw it to check it out to find out more about the rewards you get for becoming my patron. Next, I have official draw to merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And finally, you can purchase some of my art prints in my online store at storeenvy.com slash draw it to. Your contributions go a long way in making sure that content creators like myself 
are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you guys did like this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. Also, if you liked this video, comment it below or share this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are on this channel. Again, you guys, all of these links are down in the description below. Finally, thank you once again for watching and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video.